for our last setup video, we are going to install Perch CSS. Perch CSS is another post processor that removes any CSS classes that we're not using. And the way it knows that we're using a CSS rule or not is by observing our blade files or Vue.js components. So we're going to add a Perch CSS in between Tailwind CSS and Auto Prefixer. But that's going to be only for production. For development, we don't really need to have a small compiled CSS. So we'll make sure we only register it when compiling for production. OK, so let's implement this. If we go on the Tailwind CSS website and search for Purge CSS, we'll find a nice little setup guide for us. So first, we need to install Purge CSS as a post CSS plugin. And then we need to configure that plugin. So let's copy paste that in our Laravel mix configuration file. As you can see, there are two options to configure in that plugin. The first one is called content, which is necessary to tell Perch CSS which files to observe. In our case, we're going to want it to observe all of our blade files, which is actually just one that app.blade.php, and also all of our Vue.js file. And all of these are in our resources folder. So let's replace source by resources. We're going to remove that one and replace HTML by blade.php. The next option is called default extractor, and we need to provide a function that, given a file, will extract all of the classes that are in that file. In our case, we're going to leave that default function because it was provided in the Tailwind CSS documentation, which is just perfect for us. OK, so now we have our Perch CSS plugin ready. All we need to do is add it to our post CSS plugin array, and we're going to put it between Tailwind CSS and Auto Prefixer. However, if you remember, we only want Perch CSS when we compile for production. So we're going to add our ternary condition, makes that in production. CSS, otherwise nothing. However, in development, we don't want a null plugin. So in order for it to completely disappear, we're going to use a red structuring. OK, so let's give this a try. I'm going to run npm run dev and npm run prod without that line that registers purge CSS. And then I'm going to run them again with that line so that we can make sure it works properly. OK, so without Perch CSS, we have 855 kilobytes for dev and 661 for prod. Now let's uncomment that line and try again. Wow, OK, so we can see that our dev build is the same, still 855 kilobytes, so that's what we wanted, right? We didn't want Perch CSS uh, registered in our development build. However, in production, it went from 661 kilobytes to two. Because if we look at our app.blade.php file, we're only using a couple of CSS classes here. And if I go to our app.view component, we're also not using that many CSS classes here. So what Perch CSS did is it made sure that our app.css file contains only the CSS rules that we're using here. And if I go back to our paparazzi application, we can still see our blue circle in the middle of the screen, and we can still see that light gray in the background. OK, so that finishes that module. We're now all set up and ready to build our SPA. And in the next few modules, we will start implementing the design of our application.